Hello everybody and welcome to my 50 subscriber special. Uh, today I'm just going to do a little thing where I'm just going to show you around a realm that I've been playing on for a little while. This is my base over here. Uh, this is a little underwater sort of thing that I've built. It's not massive and I've not really worked on it to be honest but it's pretty cool. You get to see all the, all the fish and all that stuff. Uh, over here we just got our storage. Uh, just gonna really annoy someone real quick. Oh look at that! Look at that unsorted storage. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in front. Look, look. Oh, delicious. Unsorted storage. How we love that. We love that. And we got lots of uh, got packed ice in the in the in the auto smelter chest. And we've still got things smelting. Okay, I didn't actually know that we had still had things had to smelt, but. I suppose we do. Anyway, we got our another wall of furnaces, which I haven't used in ages. I don't think there's anything in there. Uh, a bit of a sugarcane farm, but it's kind of being outclassed at the moment by an automatic one. So, uh, yep, yeah, I've not harvested that in ages. My bed, my brewing stand, and the exit slash entrance. There's a boat up there. All right, so uh, you're probably wondering how to get out. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use this exit to get out. Uh, there's uh, there's nothing to worry about here. Okay, don't worry. There's another unsorted chest for you. Uh, <laughs> so if I go over here and press this button, I this is the, this is the way out. Uh, ignore the ignore the tripwire hooks, by the way. Just don't worry about it. Anyway, this is the Nether. This is our little Nether highway, uh, or one of them to be precise. Uh, there's a spawn this way. This is a realm after all, so there's different people playing on this at, uh, at any given moment. Uh, one of them's just down there, I believe. So we got the got my base. We got the Nether Fortress. We got the End Portal there. We killed the Ender Dragon the other day, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have ourselves our desert to harvest sand just through there. Uh, just down this way, I'm still constructing it, but this should lead to the wooden man, well, the woodland mansion. Uh, which I've already cleared out, so I don't know why I'm bothering with that. But I suppose if you wanted to start off really far away, you can. This way leads to the ocean monument, so... Uh, yeah, it's it's practically destroyed, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so this is our spawn... This is our spawn area, as you can see. Uh, we are just mostly... I don't know, we're just, we're just sort of building up everything as we go along. Uh, we've got our little uh, room in here, so a little... Dragon D's eggs. Okay. Uh, we've got a little room here. We've got some dogs. We've got Bertrude under the stairs there. Hello, Bertrude. Nice to see you. And if we go upstairs, we've got a chest room. Now, Cobble moved downstairs. Uh, I mean, nearly, nearly got it fully organized. <laughs> Too much dirt. Literally all redstone components. Uh, deep slates. Yeah, a few bits. <laughs> <laughs> just marvel. Just marvel at all of this. Undersea products. I think that's one of the few chests that's actually like true to the name. Too much gravel? Yeah, that works as well. All the meats. Alternative stone, you know, garden party. Ooh, garden party there. Uh nether products. So yeah, we we're, we're we're very good at sorting out our uh, our little boxes. Got a shulker box here with nothing inside. Awesome. And this is sort of the map of spawn, basically. So we're currently here-ish. We're about here. And uh, I'm going to take you on a little whirlwind tour. So we've got the uh, we've got our super smelter there, which is... Um, I'll be honest, it's a little bit wrong. We're going to move the lever over here and extend the track out by one. Because uh, this lever here locks this hopper. And so we can't actually use this, this entire furnace here. Uh, but whatever, we'll fix that at some point. Uh, as you can see, we've uh, been busy smelting. We've got 31 blocks of copper. And uh, six enchanted apples, sure. Oh, 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 you should see Mr. Porkway. Yes, Master Porkway, how are you doing, sir? <laughs> this is my pet pig. Uh, right, so, we've got the little fishing dock here. There's a house over there for some reason, I don't know. We've got our bank. We've got... A tower that I built because I wanted to test the elytra and I didn't have fireworks just yet. Uh, got a little enchanting table which has been downgraded because we've got villagers that do this better. I, I, I kind of hate that to be honest. I kind of hate how the enchanting table is just not really worth crafting anymore. Because um, villagers just are so much better. 
Got a little brewing tower, which is unfinished. Uh, we've also got like a little basement here. It's just a little bit. It's, it's not, it doesn't go that far. Uh, another chest with slightly unsorted things, though most of it is supposed to be building materials for the actual building. Got a bunch of brewing ingredients. And potions. Oh, when that was full, that looked amazing. And then we've got so, a few more potions and a few more bits and pieces that I haven't sorted out. Okay, so moving on then, we're going to go over to the farm. This is where we plant all of our crops. we got our carrots over here. Those are looking... What was that? Oh, that's the honey thing, isn't it? So these carrots are looking pretty tasty. Uh, potatoes are looking ready to become chips. And we've got wheat. Loads of wheat. Uh, that is a PvP arena that's not done yet, so I'm going to leave that out of this video. And when it's done, I'm sure I'll get a video of that at some point. Okay, so over here we've got our... We used to have a walled off area where we breeded villagers and then put them into like a miniature village. Uh, those villagers have since disappeared or moved over. Uh, I think we moved a couple of them into the breeder. So this is just, well this is a husk of what it once was. But I expect some of us will be able to set up some uh, shops here or something. So we can sell some of our products. And if we go over here, little sheep farm. Hello sheep. Uh, definitely all sheep loot in here, don't worry, just uh, ignore that. We've got... Listen, we're not the most organised people, but we're alright. <laughs> this used to be a bone meal farm, but uh, I think most of the components were taken out. and We're actually moving all of our farms over to one uh, space, and I'll be able to show you that later on. So hopefully this will wind up in that space soon. And this is our little flower farm, which gets us stupid amounts of flowers it's ridiculous it, it's like you put one in and you put like a stack of bone meal you get like three stacks of flowers it's ridiculous some of these farms are disgusting that farm's also disgusting but we moved it so I'll show you where it's been put let's climb this mountain someone's been very busy terraforming this land because it used to be just flat land extending extending for miles uh, probably up until here, I'd imagine. And uh, so, yeah, they've been gradually sort of terraforming the land as they see fit. So, playing God a little bit. Uh, they still don't have a door for some reason, so... Just gonna go through here. Ah, Sir Krakus the Third. Nice to meet you, sir. Yes. This is actually a very, very slow horse. I'll show you. Look at this. Very, very slow horse. Oh, well. Uh, this is a different base. Someone someone lives here. Uh, they have been... Yeah, this is the person who's been uh, terraforming the mountain. They've been working really hard on this base. And, uh, yeah, just getting used to Minecraft, I think. Um, they they uh, killed the Ender Dragon for the first time uh, when we did it. So, you know, there we go. Good achievement to get right there. It's always going to be a first time for your Ender Dragon kill. And mine was probably ten years after I started playing. Uh, no, probably about eight years, I'd imagine, actually. It, most people just don't just go without killing the Ender Dragon for so long, it's ridiculous. And then eventually they do it and they're like, oh, that was easy. Anyway, so I'm going to move over here. This here is the bank, or it's supposed to be the bank pretty soon. Uh, we've been rather busy building farms, so uh, unfortunately this hasn't been finished. Uh, this used to hold a wandering trader called Clarkson. I actually gave it a name, I called it Clarkson, and uh, I thought it would just stay here. But it turns out that Wandering Traders have their own code, where they just bog off for no reason. Uh, so Clarkson is somewhere out there in the world, and we just don't know whereabouts at the moment. Ooh, but what's this? Well, let's go down, let's go see what this is. So this used to be our little storage area, uh, but I have since taken apart all the mechanics to uh, sorting the system. So we used to have a sorting system here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much been taken apart at this point. But um, we do plan to get an, a new sorting system installed at spawn uh, so that we can continue being lazy because uh, that's what we do. And we've got our little trading hall this way. So going down this long old corridor, we get to meet all of our villagers, some of which have names that are from other things. Uh, others we just gave names because of a certain naming system. And I'll tell you all about that. So these are all of our villager trades. We usually spawn our villager zombies from here because in the bedrock edition, some of them do spawn as villager zombies, uh, which is quite funny. So that's how we've been. We just basically blot this off, 
switch off the lights, and then we just cure a, zo a zombie villager and put him in our system. And these are all the trades that they give us at the moment, uh, or most of them, rather. Uh, we've got a few item frames which we find quite useful. How many emeralds do we have? We have a stack in 20, so not that many at the moment. But th these guys are just ridiculous. It's silly. So we've got our farming villagers, which we've named after the famous tax evasion people. So we've got Nicolas Cage, we've got Gary Barlow, we've got Al Capone, and we've got Jimmy Carr. So all of these people have supposedly co uh, committed tax evasion, and uh, they give us... What is it? Oh, really? Three pumpkins for an emerald? I mean, it's still all right, but it usually is one. But these trades are stupid. And if we go to Jimmy Carr specifically, it gives us golden carrots, which is the best food source in the game. We've got Aching Umbra, which is an efficient worker. I was supposed to get an unbreaking book on there, but efficiency came up first. Uh, so I haven't been bothered to change that. we got Chip, Master Thief. If you do recognize any of these characters, please let me know. <laughs> So we've got Chip, Master Thief, he sells looting. Uh, we've got Feldspar, Unbreaking Spirit. He does indeed have an Unbreaking Spirit, and it is there as well. Uh, we've got Men <laughs> Mending, Mending Villager. I didn't name this, uh, someone else did. <laughs> but it's it, this is our Mending Villager, and he also sells us glass, which is quite important for another one of our villagers. we got Old Man Earl, which is our Sharp Senior. Uh, this guy... Sells us Sharpness and Luck of the Sea and Looting 3, which he also uses when he makes juice. Uh, we've got Marshall John, who sells protection. A bit of a weird uh, phrasing there, but oh, he sells fortune as well. That's good. As a prominent pirate, I hope you sell fortune. And we've got Caspian, the locator, which for five glass panes gets you an emerald. You remember that four glass earlier that this guy sells? You can turn these into panes and then sell them at a ridiculously, like, I don't know. You just get so much value. This this is stupid. This, 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 genuinely, this strategy needs to be nerfed because it's genuinely not worth mining most of my materials. I just buy them. It's It's gotten to that point where just don't bother mining. But yeah, that's our little villager trading hall. This is where we do all of our trades. And I've got to make another one of these. Oh, this is my... Uh, Got man, fish man here. Uh, got some netherite, got some diamonds. Uh, got my undersea plate, but I'm wearing my elytra at the moment. Bunch of smithing templates. So, all ready to uh, smith. And uh, let's have a look at some of these un uh, so unsorted chests. This one's melon and pumpkins, you say? Awesome. They look like melons and pumpkins. Anyway, I'm sure you probably don't want to see these other chests, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> Pause if you wish, uh, just take a look at what's in there, whatever. Okay, so the next place I'm going to go to is the uh, farming area. Now, do I go via nether portal? Nah. God, the elytra is, uh, is also rather overpowered. Literally any method of like travel, like minecart travel, it's just don't bother. Legit. If I'm doing like... Um, I, I, I'm quite glad I'm doing the um, dig through time series. It's because uh, I get to actually play Minecraft the way it was intended to be played in the first place and not flying around or trading for a living, you know. Oh, there's our incredibly, <laughs> incredibly ugly bit of minecart rail. Uh, this this area is uh, supposed to be incredibly high tech, but uh, we haven't developed the technology yet. Welcome to the farming area. Uh, why is there a trident there? Anyway, sorry. Um... Yeah, welcome to the farming area. This is where we do our farming. Uh, we've got a whole lot of resources here. Uh, a lot of these have been organized so that we can build farms. Got a, uh, well, basically a auto smelter here, which I definitely did not copy off of some YouTube channel. Uh, don't you worry. Oh, we need a bit more bamboo. We need to fill the uh, thing up with bamboo. So I'll best get on that whenever. Uh, we do have a bamboo farm here as well. This here is the gold farm, but we're currently in peaceful mode. Uh, we keep changing it to peaceful for some reason. I think it's just because the, the ghasts in the nether are being rather annoying when we're trying to construct anything there. So that currently does not function, but that is a gold farm, and it gets us about half a stack of gold in about 10 seconds. It's, it's ridiculously quick. Um, I'm very thankful to the person who built that, honestly. It, it's uh, And not only that, it's equipped with trident killers. 
So if you have your own tridents and you throw them into the trident killers, you're getting XP as well, uh, which which gets stupid. You just repair, you just instantly repair all of your tools and wind up at level forty in a matter of like three minutes. Um, <laughs> this is our sorting system, so we do genuinely have a bit of a sorting system here. I just need to get rid of all, all the vines. Um, by the way, do you like how this looks? I think it like it looks nice. The only problem is is, is the vines. I think. Um, I put some vines in here to th uh, thinking, oh, it makes it look really, really nice, but uh, it just gets in the way. So, uh, melons, but we've got loads there. We've got bamboo, which I need to sort out some more of for the smelter. We've got sugarcane, pumpkins, iron, string, gunpowder, which... Oh yeah, I just used that to make a bunch of fireworks, didn't I? And uh, spider eyes. Uh, can you guess which farms are here? Awesome, okay. <laughs> so you got the melon and the pumpkin farm. So these are our pumpkins. So pumpkins get filtered through there into this chest and down the bottom there. And once that has all happened, it goes into a minecart which leads to our central uh, sorting system over there. So all of our items are being filtered from these farms over there. I'm not actually sure where this minecart is at the moment. Where is this mine? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's currently uh, bringing items from the melon farm and the iron farm, and then it's going to go up there and it's going to drop all of that off for the sorting system, which I'll, I'll explain later. Uh, same here with the melon farm. So we've got this system here, and we've got, honestly, way too many melons. This, this melon farm is ridiculous. It, it, this produces so many melons. Uh, it, it often clogs up the system. It, pr it produces so many, so I, I need to figure out a solution for all that. And this here is our little iron farm. So I'm just going to go up into the sky. So this is our iron farm here. Ow. Who cares? And this is where we, we have a bunch of uh, villagers in there, which are Fletchers. And they get angry about their beds and spawn iron golems, apparently. I don't know how that works. I think it becomes a village and stops becoming a village over and over and over again. And it just spawns those. I think it's like the the um, the gold farm over there, where the portals switch on and off constantly. All right, so that's our iron farm. So we're now gonna um, yeah ignore that. <laughs> gonna move over to our bamboo farm. The sugarcane's been taken out of there because we're using it for fuel at the moment. We've also got some we've got a lava farm there, so we may as well use that as well. And this is where bamboo is taken from. That's where we get all of our bamboo, all of our bamboo shoots. Uh, and yeah, pretty much this minecart goes through and collects all of the dropped bamboo and this goes off every now and again. And it all filters through into this hopper at the bottom which I can't quite reach. But it's probably empty anyway because that cart went straight away. This is supposed to be a creeper farm. But since there's a there's been an update recently where spiders spawns are slightly different. So it's now, it now doubles as a spider farm, which is actually rather annoying because they just clog up this system in here. Um, <laughs> make sure this trapdoor is blocking the stairs, holy S. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so if this is open and the creeper farm, it's actually going to cause a creeper explosion. It's not happened yet so far, thank God. But uh, I expect it will probably happen at some point if someone is being um, a bit silly and they don't put this up properly. And so that's where they all spawn. And is there anything else I can show you in this world? I think that might genuinely be everything we can show you. Okay, so that concludes our tour of this world. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for 50 subscribers once again. Uh, if you do, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like and also subscribe. Uh, it's much appreciated and thank you for watching.